All right, so for this episode, I want to talk about Lush One, the cocaine bot appearing on Here We Go Again podcast with Dijon, Flacco, and Dodson. And this was a special podcast because it brought mortal enemies together to sit down at the table. And of course, I'm talking about Lush One and Dijon Paul. These two have been at war lately uh, on the internet saying the most nasty things to each other. I'm three cinnamon rolls away from my own deathbed, but you take too many drugs, Lush One. Ah. Shout out to Lush. This is for you, bro. Yes, we made it. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you had stayed off for this and Discord, you would still work here. But you chose this back and forth, just trying to humiliate and shit on each other. And now they're on a podcast together, sitting next to each other on a couch. And so it's a pretty fascinating ordeal. But the real content here I found is the exchanges between Lush and Fred Jala, a.k.a. Poetic Flacco. So Flacco, pretty much the whole time, tries to press Lush and tries to call him out for stuff that he's done, like meet up with Dodson for a fade. Etc. Age shames him, says that he's acting like an immature child and stuff. And so uh, he tries to do this, but Lush very methodically, very smoothly and confidently flips the script and starts to press Flacco. And he pretty much turns Flacco into his bitch. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. We're going to move to our first clip. And before the Flacco stuff, I want to cover this uh, Dijon and Lush getting along now. So they're no longer enemies. They've hit it off. They love each other. They respect each other. And in this first clip, I want to show you this is really funny. Lush says that he wouldn't fight Dijon physically because Dijon has revealed that he is a homosexual. Oh, you think you beat him up? That's the only reason that you wouldn't ask me. Do, I, do, 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 do you want to fight? Why would I want to fight? Okay, I don't want to fight either. All oh, right, right, but but is it because of the hate crime? That was is a that call out reason? for a fan. Do you do you want to fight? I'm just asking. I'm just clarifying. Oh, my. I'm just clarifying. Oh my, it's getting spicy. Do y'all let a call out, or you don't want to? Oh wait, order now. It was a it was a request for a clarification. Suspects getting hot and heavy. Okay, so just the talk of this, just the thought of Lush calling out Dijon Paul for a physical mutual combat situation where they are going to probably wrestle each other to the ground and pound each other. His heart's just pounding. He's trying to collect himself. You know what I mean? This conversation really revved his engine. And this is another reason why he is Dodson. Okay, so uh, Lush and Dijon are uh, totally cool. They're friends. And so, but uh, Flacco is a grudge holder. We've talked about this before. He held a grudge against MacWap, and then he exacted his revenge. Well, now he's trying to do the same thing. He planned to, he had talking points prepared, and he planned to like ambush Lush and sort of throw Lush in the headlights and try to uh, cook him, basically. And this is where the actual pretty much video starts, and I'm very excited about this. So I want to go to our first Flacco clip. So this is going to be where Flacco starts going after Lush and starts trying to call him out for his behavior. I'm sure by now we all know that Lush and Almighty Dodson caught a fade to settle their differences. Well, Flacco thinks that this is absolutely crazy. And Flacco says that he's above that and he would never do that. He would never fight anyone over something so silly. And he's trying to make Lush seem like this immature little freak that like everyone should laugh at and think is like a pathetic uh, little worm. Because I think Flacco's tired of being the one that gets laughed at constantly. And so he's excited to have Lush back so that he can turn Lush into, you know, what he is, which is uh, a joke. So this is what I think is going on. But it didn't work out for him. I want to show you this one. Hood with a set, right? Right. For example, so Lush saying, "Yo, I pulled up to Odolo and handled my shit like a man, bro." It's only like the hood and the street niggas think like that's like some cool shit to do, right? It's to pull up and fight. You are a forty-year-old man, like. What do you say to the? Black yeah, thing yeah, bro. Like, yeah, like, like that's not cool, right? Like. <laughs> And somebody says, yo, Flacco, I send me for a fit, but like, the fuck do I, look, first off, I'm an adult, nigga. I'm not fighting, bro, I'm not squabbling or fading none of you bitch ass niggas, right? It's not happening. <laughs> you, you call me out, listen, you call me out for fit, right? Yeah. Catch when you catch me. Right, right, with that right, being right, said, Flacco. Right, 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 right. With that being said, I do want to show you guys this clip from one year ago where Poetic Flacco calls Lush out for a fade. Where I won't tolerate it, bro, is, yo, I got a last name, bro, and we are very prideful people, dog. Like, my last name, I would die for that, bro. I would lay that shit out and crash out for my last name, dog. So when I see niggas saying that I have an open case and then implying that it's something sexual of nature, dog, I can't let that go, Lush. You feel me? 
right? When did he do that? I didn't, I didn't well, catch that part. Well, yeah, yeah. Lush told niggas that I had an open case out and in same way in that it's something sexual of nature. Now, uh, now again, bro, I cannot tolerate that. And as a man dog, as a man, yo, win, lose, or draw Lush, I need that fade outside, yo. I need that fade outside, yo. Oh, shit. That's my last name you playing with, dog. <laughs> nah, bro. I like that, bro. This nigga Flacco just asked for I did not face. see this coming. Flacco's been sitting here coming. for 30 minutes. Flacco got nah, here Nah, bro, that's my last name, yo. To... So one year ago, Flacco wanted to fight Lush over uh, some rumors that were going around. And now he says that a grown man fighting another grown man is, uh, you know, he wants to criticize Lush for doing the same thing. Flacco's reason for wanting to fight was because he was saying Lush was spreading rumors about him. Okay. So, uh, which isn't true at all. Lush never said that uh, Jala was any, uh, had any accusations. He was just saying that there's rumors going around, which was true. I want to show you this from the Reddit. It's uh People in the Reddit have been posting this like crazy. I mean, this is out there. This is very well-known information that uh, Frederick Jala has a, a mystery surrounding his name. And he won't. And because he's such a liar and because he lied about where he's from, he lied about where he grew up, he lies about having a girlfriend. He li I mean, he lies about everything. Lies about his height, for God's sake. Because he's such a habitual liar, it's difficult for us to believe him when he denies things, especially when there's documents out there like this. Look at this document. This is very, very, uh, what do you, a uh, glaring. This is a glaring document. Look at this. So state of Ohio plaintiff versus defendant David M. Jala. And so off the bat, it's like Jala. And then it starts to get interesting. And then you learn that uh, uh, Poetic Flacco has an alias called Minyango Tokpa. And so he, he has these multiple names. He uh, lies about where he's from. He lies about everything. And so people look at this document and they go, Jala? Could Flacco have changed his name? I mean, what, what's going on? And so you read through some of this stuff in this document and it says Jala testified that he had a speech impediment because he stutters sometimes. Jala explained that during stressful situations, his speech impediment is worse. Okay, so who does that sound like to you guys? And it says, Jala explained that he is from Liberia. What? Liberia. He lies a lot because he's from Liberia. Get it? So he's from Liberia. And uh, the, and so people are thinking that this could be Flacco. His last name's Jala. He's from Liberia. He stutters when he gets stressed out. I mean, this stuff is all pretty consistent, I think. And so it's all really interesting. And so a lot of people looked at this. And they made the connection and they were thinking, maybe this is why Flacco lies about everything. This is why he's trying to erase his past. This is why he says that he's from North Dakota, even though he's from Darby, Pennsylvania. And so it was all clicking. It was all starting to make sense. And so Lush was made aware of this document on the internet from the Reddit and the and the discords. And all he and he may or may not have even no one Lush never made an accusation against Flacco. He was just saying that this document exists. That's all he said. That's all anyone said. No one even said it was for sure him. They just wondered if it was him because of all the similarities. Okay. It's very simple, but uh, Flacco wanted to pin this on Lush as the reason he wanted to fight him because he wanted Lush to seem like he was like Lush was over the line and like making crazy accusations that could eliminate his character. But in actuality, the reason why Flacco was trying to fight Lush is because Lush exposed where Flacco's really from. He's from Darby, Pennsylvania. And Lush only did that because Adam 16 told him to. So it's fucking extremely stupid. And so, but he's trying to mask it as if he's like upset about accusations Lush made. Uh, the state of Ohio allegedly, according to this fucking document, made the, made the accusation, Flacco, tell us who you really are. And so Flacco asked for a fade, even though he says he was he's above this. And so Flacco's like the only person in the room that thinks that this is absurd for two grown men to do this. And so he's trying to ruin Lush. He's trying to turn everyone on Lush, but it's not working. And so he's going to continue to grow more and more frustrated. And he's going to keep just like, it's going to start getting heated. And Flacco's really going to start attacking Lush. He's, he's basically saying that Lush is getting himself involved in the streets because he fought someone, which is exactly what Flacco was trying to do a year prior to this. So now he's trying to make Lush look ridiculous for doing the exact same thing. 
And it's not going to work because Lush is going to turn the tables around and start to go after Flacco. And this is a beautiful moment. I want to share it with you guys. Hey, Flacco. As an adult, I'll defend Win, myself. lose, or draw. No. You feel me, right? And as an adult, <laughs> he, I will defend myself, that. right? And in a way that the government has told me I'm allowed to, right? right. You've been a 40-year-old man. There's different laws in California. A white man. There's different sure. laws in California. No, sure, 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 sure. But there's no gunplay. Like, that's not an no, option. No, pass that gunplay shit, though. Why... Why do you feel obligated? Well, for example, right? Why? You let me ask you a question. Wait, why do you? The, why do you insert here. yourself in conversations about sure. street beef that's perpetuating genocide between young black men? You feel me? Well, like when? When? As, all the time. When? Talking about beef between this guy and this guy. Oh, name all, one, man. All the the whole not licky shit. Crazy. You feel me? Name all ball. that. Like wait, 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 I can ball. name fifty. Sure, I can well, name fifty. Uh, yeah, Parker, that's what you do. Yeah, Lester. that's what you do. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing. You no, feel no, me? Like no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Look, listen. The cocaine bot. So Flacco wasn't expecting this. So now Flacco's on his heels. He's like, oh shit. And Lush is applying the pressure. And Lush is bringing up the Nas Blicky stuff that we were talking about on the very last video we did here. Flacco is allegedly banned from New York City by the GDs and the Chos and everything else. Because he is so um, disrespectful and he taunts the gangs, he talks about the dead ops and stuff like that. He's a very disrespectful individual. And that's why he's not allowed to go to New York City, allegedly. And so this is what Lush is bringing up. He's bringing up our video, guys. So this is actually really cool. Let's hear what uh, Flacco has to say. So one, uh, when I speak on these niggas, these are rappers, right? I would never report on the average just just dumb street nigga who's in, who's not rapping, just a street nigga, it doesn't concern me. But once you hop on them tracks and start making records that we care about, you are now a rapper and your life and your beefs and everything you do is in a public light. So it's my job now as a cultural commentator to cover it. So I'm not instigating nothing. I'm just talking about what's public. Well, there's way, but, but you merely speaking on that. And, and Why? I know because you're an intelligent enough person okay. to realize that. You merely speaking on that is incensing the situation. It's bringing more attention to it. Look at these fuck. I mean, Flacco's legs don't make any sense. How are those even possible? They don't even make anatomical sense. And he wore these pants. As if to say, like, fuck you to all the people that have to sit here and watch. I mean, the cameras in this podcasting room are set up to where we're staring into everyone's crotch. We're looking at uh, Dijon's moose knuckle just poking through. I mean, how is this not Reginald Vell Johnson? How is this not the same person? So Flacco's wearing these pants. He looks like from the, from the waist down, he looks like an uncooked rotisserie chicken. And this is ridiculous. I don't know why the cameras have to be framed like this to where we're staring directly into the crotch. If you follow the rule of thirds with the composition guideline, we're supposed to be staring directly into the crotch of these people. That's how stupid no jumper is. But that's another topic. Let's get back to this, uh, what we're talking about. So Lush is saying that Flacco's content that he puts out where he makes fun of the gang members and he does DJ academics and he like, you know, trolls them and talks about their dead friends that have died. Lush is saying that Flacco may be responsible for perpetuating gang violence in the streets by doing this. And Flacco turns around and tries to wriggle out of it with his giant tree trunk legs. He wants to wriggle out of this by saying this. He says, I'm a cultural commentator and I'm going to report the news as I see fit. And he says that he only reports on rappers. Because once you become a rapper, then it's news and he can report on it. So he's basically saying, hey, um, I'm, you know, as long as you are a rapper, then I can talk about whatever I want and I can troll and I can make fun of people that are dying. I can do that as long as he's a rapper. But if he's not a rapper, then I wouldn't do that because it would be unethical. That's completely stupid. So Flacco clowns these gang members because he says that they're rappers. So it's okay for him to, that doesn't make any sense. So I just wanted to point that out. And so after Flacco tries to explain himself and no one in the room is really sharp enough to check him on what he's actually saying, this is the point at which he starts to rebrand. Because he, remember, he probably had talking points ready to go. He was probably thinking about this for a couple of days. Like, how? what am I going to accuse him of? What am I going to attack him with? And so he doesn't want, he wants to stick to his guns and die on the hill. And so he re, he brings up the fighting stuff again, I think. I'm pretty sure. And so, and I was like, oh my God. And then, and so Lush 
I, I, I just got to play the clip. Just watch this. So when we, like, for example, right, when, when I look at, like, Lush One, right, I'm just saying, bro, like, there were so many more options to go, like, bro, like, you, like, you don't have to, you know, like, feel obligated to, like, for example, right, like, to the hood nigga status, meaning this, right? You even comment on, I just saying, yeah, you know, I put up solo, is you now thinking, yo, this is the right thing to do, me pulling up solo and fighting, because the hood niggas in the streets done told me this right here is some man shit. Man shit is staying home with your woman, right? And saying, bro, I'm not about to engage in no fuckery. I'm going to be home with, with this woman that I love and cherish. We're trying to support a family. Came, hey, you hey, came, first no, of all, no, no, no. You so came. now Flacco's bringing up Lush's girl. He's saying that Lush is not a man because what a man would do is be with his girl at home and let people call you out for fades and you turn down fades. So Flacco's clearly an incel that's never been in a relationship. And he's giving advice to Lush for, you know, this is actually, um, I mean, I, I think I've said this before many times, so I'm just going to uh, move on to the next clip. But I just want to point that out. Flacco really wants Lush to go down for uh, meeting up with uh, Dodson for a fade. He's hugely against fighting this year. So uh, let's go to our next clip. And this is the clip where uh, Flacco gets full-blown pressed by Lush. Lush presses Flacco. Makes him say uh, what Lush wants him to say. Dog walks him. Completely reduces Flacco into Lush's personal bitch. And I thought this was an amazing clip. And I'd like to play that for you right now. I have a question for you, bro. So, so go ahead, man. Okay. Do you remember the last conversation we had on the phone? Don't I want you to well, clarify something. Oh. Because, uh, sure. yeah, I, I, when, when you were on Academics Show, and they, you were talking about invitations to freaky sex parties and all that. Sure. And you were alluding to the fact that there were cast members or whatever sure. that were participating. And he said, he said, oh. I, I didn't watch the Academics Show. I ain't going to lie. Did you see Dijon's reaction when he, when Lush was talking about the sex parties and shit you feel me like that uh, cast members were going to these wild sex parties you feel me nah fool like i i wasn't like doing and dijon goes sex parties nobody invited me to no motherfucking sex parties i need a drink and then act was like was uh was house phone there house phone was part of it and you said no no it wasn't house phone because he is he was insinuating that there is somebody from the podcast space mm -hmm. that was doing parties? some gay freaky shit no Before, I, I, that's I said, what he said i, I said just there I didn't say they was fucking. Yeah. You said something. Yeah, yeah. And then that gay they, they said they said three or four names. <laughs> Shut up, Dodson. No one wants to hear what you have to fucking say about this. Four stuff. names, and he said no. And then no, he, and then, he said then two he, names. I think I think that suspect. I said no, and then I realized that at this point he's trying to just go down and do like a. All right, so watch this. This is going to be Lush pressing Flacco and making Flacco clear this shit up, making him say that Lush wasn't the person that he saw at the wild sex parties. Right. Process of like uh, elimination. But then when he said yeah. Lush, said, he said, he said, hey, I ain't saying no names. Right, because what so, are you talking about? So was the, I'm not saying, so but you, yeah, it wasn't Lush, but yeah. Dude, okay, it wasn't Lush. Right now, I've, now, I've never even met, like, I've never even know. met Kazumi so before in person, but I felt like you were, like, trying to sneak allude to the fact. No. Because there was a lot of things that popped up on, you feel me, different sites. Oh, Lush one at Flacco exposed as Lush one yeah, for being uh, a... Yeah, yeah, no, no, so no. you weren't talking about me. No, 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 no. All right, just wanted yeah, to make sure. So, different. All right. so Poetic Flacco went on DJ Academics' podcast and alluded to some stuff that wasn't true about Lush, made up this story about all these freaky wild things that were going on and, and uh, you know, uh, implicated Lush in those things. What well, household was there? No. Hold on, we, we gotta get this straight. So, Flacco, you're she telling me- She invited me to an orgy party. So you're telling me that household invited you to a, to a, to a party? No, Kazumi. It was Kazumi? Yes. What well, household was there? No. There, there, there was folks that we know who went. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> oh. You feel me? <laughs> right? Was Adam there? No. Uh, no. Right? Lush was up in there, though. He was fucked. Listen, I'm not confirming nobody, right? But I'm saying this, this right? No, that right, right, not right, nobody. right, right, right. No, so Lush was in there fucking a nigga? Nah. And once so I got. when asked if Adam was there, no. When asked if House Phone was there, no. When asked if Lush was there, hey man, listen, I'm not going to confirm that right now. That's basically what he said. So, um, what the fuck? All right, so he's definitely trying to slander Lush. But now that Lush has got him in person in front of a camera, he presses him, questions him about it, and then makes Flacco walk back his own statements on camera and look at fucking Flacco. He's devastated the entire room, his co-hosts, his, his co-workers, 
they're all turning on. They're all like, what? Dijon's like, why'd you do that, Flacco? Why would you do that all male gay sex orgy shit about Lush? Lush is not gay like us, you motherfucker. And so I thought this was incredibly interesting. Even Remo. Remo uh, calls Flacco out and makes fun of him for getting fucking full court press. So we got and they go, he sleep pressed you, Flacco. How? Just now, nigga. He's... Listen, listen, bro. Listen, he pressed so me. One, listen, though. <laughs> so shit up, nigga. I'm the great at Instagram. You can't do my job better than me, bro. For me, it's not happening. For me, I trust me, bro. Who's the better at Instagram? Right, so I'm so glad that I can go over this stuff with you guys. Uh, you know, Flacco tried his hardest to throw Lush into the dirt and throw dirt upon his name, but it ended up blowing up in his face. Lush owned him and embarrassed him in front of everyone and marked him out. So that is what I wanted to show you guys today. I'm so glad that you guys are watching these videos and liking and subscribing and commenting. It really helps. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. And I'm feeling like something big is going to happen after 100 Thou Wows. So if you don't mind just helping me out, make sure you're subscribed. Also, Patreon, three bucks a month, folks. You can cancel anytime. I just uploaded yesterday. Uh, Adam16 gets a haircut. It's a fabulous piece. I hope you guys go over and check that out. It's three bucks. And of course, you get all the other content that's up there too. I think there's like six total pieces up right now. So uh, with that being said, thanks again. I'll see you guys on the next one.